All right, we got some uh, breaking news out of Las Vegas as it was reported that Las Vegas Raiders All-Pro tight end Darren Waller uh, has, has suffered some sort of a recurrence of the hamstring injury that had kept him out of practice last week. He had came, uh, returned to the field for one day, one practice, uh, but now he's out again as it appears that the hamstring is acting up. And uh, already Josh McDaniels, when he met with the media today, um, Wednesday, said that it, there is a possibility Waller will now miss week one of the regular season. So uh, here we go already with Darren Waller, who went down as a sizable fantasy football bust a year ago as he missed uh, quite a few games with injury and also missed a game due to COVID. And uh, really his absence allowed Hunter Renfro to flourish and become a, uh, a very significant PPR weapon out of the slot for the team. And now the, the easy conclusion to draw from Waller's possible absence in week one is that Renfro will once again be he uh, heavily targeted by Derek Carr. And that's why I did that sleeper video on Renfro uh, last week, because uh, I think he was being underdrafted coming off a, a, uh, a, a really a Pro Bowl season a year ago where, you know, he hit the 100 catch mark. And I think that how good he was a year ago a year ago wasn't being appreciated this time around in terms of uh, his ADP but now with Waller injured again and it looks like he, now he has a good chance of missing week one Renfro uh, will now become the second option behind Devontae Adams now you know Josh McDaniels I've said this from the beginning uh, Josh McDaniels offense loves to pepper the slot man with receptions all right Wes Welker going back to him and Julian Edelman and even you know uh, James White out of the backfield as a running back. He was sort of like a glorified slot, uh, slot man at times. Uh, I think Renfro is going to be uh, a, a very, very heavily targeted early on this season. You know, if Waller misses more than week one, even better. So uh, Darren Waller looks like he's going to be iffy for week one as now the, the injuries that are occurring to keep players around fantasy football have their uh, game one's now uh, in jeopardy if they're getting hurt this late. Now, a couple other injury notes. Jalen Waddell has missed the last two weeks. This hasn't really been covered too much. Waddell's missed the last two weeks with some sort of leg injury. He had a wrap on his leg today during practice. <clears throat> Didn't do much. Um, Team Brass says it's just precautionary in nature. We'll take their word for it. But he is missing reps with a new coaching staff. Uh, I still, you know, as long as he's okay, as long as he makes it back for week one, Waddell is the better buy between him and Tyree Kill, as I talked about in the bust uh, video I did on Hill yesterday. Make sure you check that out because Waddle already has a rapport with Tua Tagovailoa, and uh, the fact that he's being drafted, you know, um, up to a full round beyond uh, uh, Hill makes him the better overall buy. And then uh, Kadarius Tony, uh, it never stops with this guy. The Giants' uh, second-year receiver missed, you know, the majority of last year with with about eight different injuries and also COVID. Um, he had a hamstring issue that dogged him the last week or so. Uh, now, it's a, now it's a knee or it might be vice versa. I think it might've been a hamstring and now it's a knee, but it, regardless what the order is, that's two different injuries now in the last week plus. Um, I've, I've said, don't bother with Tony. He's just, he's, you just can't depend on the guy. And I think him being, if he does miss time, is uh, gonna benefit Wondell Robinson, who I am intrigued by, but whether it's Sterling Shepard, you know, whether it's Kadarius Tony, Kenny Galda, I have no interest in Giants wideouts other than Robinson uh, because, you know, he's been used all over the field. So anyway, so that was the big news. Darren Waller will stay on top of that. Um, again, any injury that happens, key injury news, I'll jump on with a video to now, uh, to do a instant analysis on. During games on Sunday, same thing. As soon as an injury hits, I'll be watching all the games. I'll do an instant analysis. So hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button. All right, we'll talk to you soon, guys.